There are two variants of this device. The AN51558 comes with the latest 12th gen Intel CPUs, while the AN51546 is equipped with the AMD Ryzen 6000 lineup. Both variants support the latest RTX GPUs, up to 3070 Ti with 150 Watt TGP. Acer has taken a different approach this time. The weight of its new device is 300 grams higher, up to 2.5 kilos. It is also a chunkier boy than last time, now sitting in 25.9 to 26.9 mm. Thankfully, there is a big advantage to that. The base is extremely sturdy and the laptop generally feels like it has a great built chassis, despite the plastic body around it. As you can see, the design is relatively clean with some lines printed around it. Moving to the keyboard, we see an RGB backlight paired with white painting over the keys. But there are configurations with white backlight that has all of the details painted red. The keyboard feels great. It has decent key travel, clicky feedback, a numpad and large arrow keys. On the left side, there is a LAN port, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and an audio jack. On the right, you get two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, while the back houses an HDMI 2.1 connector, a Thunderbolt 4 port and a power plug. For the AMD configurations, the Thunderbolt 4 port is replaced with a regular USB Type-C 3.2. The new Acer Nitro 5 has two DDR4 starting slots. As for the storage, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, both of which support Gen 4 drives and RAID 0. In addition to that, you get a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay. You have a choice between two IPS panels, 144Hz Full HD and 165Hz QHD one. We decided to test the first one which has excellent viewing angles, good maximum brightness and great contrast ratio. Unfortunately, the display covers only 54% of the sRGB gamut, resulting in inaccurate colors. Our design and gaming profile makes things better, but it is still far from being suitable for professional use. On the bright side, Acer Nitro 5's display doesn't flicker at any brightness level. This provides comfort in extended periods of use. The device comes with a 57 Wh battery pack, which lasts for 8 hours and 28 minutes of web browsing or 5 hours and 53 minutes of video playback. Not a bad result for a gaming laptop. As we said in the beginning, there are two variants of the new Nitro 5. AN51558 comes with up to Intel Core i7 12700H and 150W NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, while the AN51546 is equipped with AMD Ryzen 7 6800H and up to the same RTX 3070 Ti, which is powerful enough to run Battlefield 5 with 177FPS at ultra settings. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a more demanding title, but RTX 3070 Ti manages to run it with more than 90 FPS on average at ultra settings. This configuration has Core i5 12500H and 95W GeForce RTX 3050. The cooling system does its job well, keeping the RTX 3050 above 2 GHz for long periods of time. Although fans are pretty loud, they could become even easier to hear from 10 miles away if you turn the max fan setting on. On the bright side, the keyboard is very cool, especially the WASD area, which is placed just above one of the fans.